Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's See What Happens. This is the World Address, and we are playing Moonlighter. It's a brand new game, just came out yesterday? Yeah, just came out yesterday. I know very little about it. All I know is that you are a shopkeep who has a great desire to be an adventurer. And your adventuring uh, prowess keeps your shop in business and, vi you know, makes a nice big circle. So let's see what happens. I really dig the graphics so far. All right, we're going to do for hard. It's recommended, apparently. And I hope this isn't, uh, the music isn't too loud. It sounds really loud on my end, but I have it turned down as low as it possibly can. So here's hoping. Oh, that was cool. Among the stars of the night, there is a land as old as imagination. One night, mazes full of extraordinary treasures and deadly creatures appeared in this land. They called them the dungeons, strange, ever-changing ruins of unknown lands. Soon a village of the slightly curious took root near the dungeons. This they named Rhinoka. Among the settlers, two groups shined brightest, heroes and merchants, glory and riches. But the dungeons proved too dangerous. They were soon closed as too many lives were lost in their depths. Life became hard for the town, especially for the young owner of the oldest shop, Will of Moonlighter. Long dreaming of opening the mysterious fifth door of the dungeons. <clears throat> All right, off to a good start. Boy, he looks tired. <clears throat> Whoa. Uh, oh, cool, yeah. Smash! And smash! Left trigger. Oh! A dodge! Cool! Okay. Hang on. Like I said, the music is just really loud in my ears. So I gotta turn it down. For me. There we go! Perfect! Left trigger dodge over the... Ooh! Dodge! Wow. That's fun. Alright, so you got a rolling dodge. Left trigger. Nope. Just kidding. Okay. That seems pretty good. Is that a... That is a broom. That is the best. That is hilarious. Your weapon is a broom to start off with. Because you're a shopkeep. Oh, that's... Ah, that's great. What's <clears throat> right trigger do? If I needed it. Left trigger is roll. Okay. What's X do? Huh. Cool. <clears throat> Fabric. Left button. A broken sword and some fabric. Cool, cool, cool. And an ancient pot and some more fabric. All right. So I guess there's going to be some crafting in this. Um, oh, yeah. I don't think you're supposed to... Ho! Oh, Spow! Nope, you're not supposed to make it. 
there's no way. There's no way that this is an actual... This is a real fight. Nope. Okay. <clears throat> Good. Dream. Okay. Or not a dream. Ugh. That was gross. But you definitely were not supposed to beat those guys. Okay. That's cool. What a sorry looking kid. All alone now. Rest for a bit, Will. I have you now. Did you put him in your backpack? Oh, okay, there he is. <clears throat> Even as a mere child, barely able to walk, you were curious of the dungeons. Oh, yeah, look at all that. Nifty. There's no doubt you carry the same obsession as old Pete. It's Pete. Morning, boy. Did our little merchant bite off more than he could manage? He didn't bring back anything, either. Well, listen to me. The hard truth is this. You are the last of your family. The only one left to run Moonlighter. You can't keep pushing yourself like this. Risking your life on this fifth door nonsense is foolish. Just leave it. Find some artifacts, then use your pendant to get out of the dungeon. Oh, okay. And for Crater's sake, stop using that broom of yours, you daft boy. It's dangerous to go alone. <laughs> Take this. <laughs> oh, that was great. It's mine from back in the day. Use it. I have little need for it now. <clears throat> hey, a sword and shield. Fancy. Now then, get up. You're wasting light. Can't have you neglect the shop all day. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's see if I can get through... Uh, your hard head, some of that, some of the tricks that I picked up from your grandfather so many, many years of, ago. I'm so old. <clears throat> yeah, alright. Got anything in here? Anything cool? Nope. Anything? Uh, 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 uh. Nope. Cool, cool, cool. Successfully selling your merchandise takes knowledge of two things. You must know an item's value as well as its demand. Come now, open the shop up and allow the customers in. Um, okay. Hold to open shop. Hey, look at that. Oh, look, it's a dude. Hey, hey there, guy. Hey, guy. Buy my stuff. Wheat. Hooray! So, do I just hit this button? Ah, did you see that? Best expression you can hope for. The item wasn't too expensive for them and not so cheap for you to lose profit. Be sure to pay attention to your customers' expressions. That's how your grandfather always knew if his prices were fair. Okay. It's probably going to be too much, so... I don't think I need to tell you how that item was obviously overpriced. But I'm gonna! I'm gonna do it anyway. Lesson learned? Finally, be careful of selling a popular item too much. If you flood the market, you will have to offer cheaper prices on your wares. Point is, charge higher when something is in high demand and in low supply. Yes, supply and demand. That's, that's exactly how that works, actually. Take out your merchant notebook. It should hold all the information you have gathered on discovered wares and artifacts. Um, here? And Oh, hey, I did get to keep that stuff. Okay, cool. Uh, right trigger. 
crystallized energy. A hundred dollars is good. Two hundred dollars is too much. Seventy-five dollars is probably or gold money. I don't know, whatever. <clears throat> it's probably gonna be the the sweet spot. <clears throat> Would seem the sun has fallen for the day. I best head off. You'll pick up more on your own. Restoring this shop to its full glory? My responsibility falls on you, not I. It's in your blood, Will. Make us proud. In the meantime, why don't you try out that new sword of yours? Dungeons are more perilous at night, but one can always find better artifacts. Just don't dive too far. And use that pendant, boy. <clears throat> yeah, okay. Sounds cool. Go on now. These weary bones of mine must rest. I'm so very old. Okay, well, let's, uh... Hey, sword. Ooh, maybe there's stuff in... Is there stuff in the trees? So already, I'm in love with the with the art style. I like pixel graphic games. I think that <clears throat> if you look at the stuff that I play on the on my channel, it's pretty obvious that I super enjoy pixel graphic games. So, right off the bat, I already love this art. Look at this. Everything is so very cute and charming. All right, so. Ah. Interesting. So now I have a dodge, a shield. A lot of stuff's busted up in here. A lot of houses kind of run down. This looks like it was a little farm thing. Okay. This is a little, this was a little shop. So I guess the more money you bring in, the better your town is going to be. Cool. Okay. I'm all about this. I think this is this is going to be a really great game. I can see me kind of getting lost playing this for a while. Well, let's read it. Dungeon entrances. Okay. Hmm. So that's, that's an entrance. That's a more difficult entrance. Fire. Tech dungeon. No entry. Hmm. Desert dungeon. Only for heroes. Interesting. Forest dungeon. Dungeon available to heroes. Not recommended for merchants. Aw. Oh. Lame. Okay, Golem Dungeon. Dungeon available to merchants and heroes. Well, let's just... Hang on, just want to make sure that I've got... What does B do? Does B do anything? No. Oh! Oh! Okay, so the right button switches between... Um, weapon sets. Let's just... Yeah, okay. <clears throat> How do I use the, the pendant that he's talking about? Oh, you can make a wish list? For stuff that... Oh, that's cool. Calendar. Inventory. Notebook. Yeah, alright. 
Let's do this. Gross. Gollum Dungeon. Floor one. Ah, oh, okay, so B is the pendant. All right. Ah. I gotta find the range for this, because it is different than the... Ooh. Hold on, so... Oh, you can't even look... Oh, interesting. Okay, so, you can't look into your bag when enemies are around? Okay. I'll get better at the combat as, uh, as time goes on. Huh. Yeah, you can't look into your bag at all. Okay, okay. Hey, could you stop? Ow, oh, you turned. That's not fair. Hmm. Well, let's go this way. Okay. <clears throat> so very much like Zelda with the dungeons. And that that is a comparison that I'm perfectly fine making. I like Zelda games. <clears throat> And this is definitely Zelda-esque. Hello. To a person of hopefully far better luck than I, my time is short. I took injury from the strange creature across the room. My pendant all but shattered from the scuffle. Check him out, though. I'd say I fared better than he. He caught me spying on him near the Guardian's room. He dropped a couple items when he fled, one of which is this map, diagram, thing. Whatever it is, I was right. They called me cra crazy, said old Pete done gone, lost his marbles. Oh, snap, it's Pete. But I was right. Each guardian of a dungeon must possess a key of sorts, all of them linked to that giant locked door outside the dungeons. The fifth door of Rhinoka. Sadly, I won't be around to see the door open. To whoever found me, I apologize for the smell. <laughs> but the diagram should be around here somewhere. Please, open the fifth door of Rhinoka. These dungeons are not what they seem. Interesting. Okay, Pete. Big boss gonna kill me. I supposed to let them all out. Now I have to chase this weird creature that stole my stuffs. Ah, Big Boss gonna be so upset with little me. Okay. So, yeah. One, two, three, four. Boom. Open. Cool. And, ooh, and some stuff. Interesting. <clears throat> Continue. Okay. Well. Can I not? I have to use the pendant. Okay. Uh, gross! That was gross. Okay. Uh, yeah, go to town. I couldn't get back through the thing, so, you know, whatever. <clears throat> Whoa! Gross. <coughs> ah, the young proprietor of Moonlighter has returned. Like, you know who I am though, dude. You look intact. Finally learned to use that pendant properly. Hmm? Hmm, boy? It's about time. It's about time, boy. What are you holding? Is that a chart of the dungeons? Where did you get this? You, you found old Pete. Ah, dead. See? This is what happens when you chase what's behind that door. 
Leave it, Will. Just get the artifacts you need from the Golem Dungeon. And look after Moonlighter. Now, I noticed some posts on the town board that may interest you. Some shops want to move in, attempt to revitalize this town. Apparently, they need some startup capital first. Would be nice to see some new life in Rhinoka. Nice indeed, yes. Mm, very nice. <laughs> okay. Sure, why not? Look at the little birds. Look at the little birds. What's this way? Oh, is it just the same? Yeah, yeah, okay. And then this is the big one. Okay. So it goes golem, forest, desert, tech, five. All right. So it looks like uh, no matter which direction you leave the town from, you just go to the ruins or to the dungeons. So that's fine. Just like checking it out up here, seeing if there's any like super special secret secrets. I like super special secret secrets. really dig the the art i really like the, this the, the whole game so far is very fun the controls are really tight combat seems pretty good uh, going from the broom which is a lot longer of a reach to the sword is a little bit not difficult but it's it's different it's a little bit different uh, in the very beginning so you'll have to kind of get used to that but yeah Let's talk to some folks. Tomo. What do you think? Boy? Girl? Let's go with girl. Will! I saw you in the Golem Dungeon earlier. Found anything mysterious? No. I mean, yeah, but I'm not going to tell you about it. Have you found any new culture artifacts in the dungeons, Will? I always found it fascinating how all the items we find in the dungeons appear to be from entirely different civilizations with unique cultures. Oh, that is neat, actually. Huh. More than likely, the dungeons are some sort of, like, teleporting thing? I guess, maybe? Who knows? Investments in the town. Hey, some people want to join. The wooden hat. Find potions and enchantments. Or, yeah, I'm gonna, I mean, I'm gonna go with, with this guy first. Obviously. Shop upgrades. Items sold will have, uh, oh, neat. Okay. Cool. Extra health. Very nice. Extra space for your items. Very, very cool. Okay. Yeah. So. Uh, let's put some stuff up for sale. I guess. Let's go inside. Now. Let's place... I don't know, um... Oh, um, let's make that for three of them. Let's make them a hundred apiece. I guess. I don't really know. Um, and then... Ah! I don't even know what that is. Ooh, glass lens is cool. We'll make those 50. Oh, my bad. Why do I have just a bucket of gross? Just grossing it up. Okay, let's see what happens. 
Hooray! Come on in! It's the 3rd of January! Come buy my stuff! There's nothing for sale over there. That's just a wall. Go over there. Look at my things. Check out my... Check out my stuff. Check out my stuff! Really? Okay. Okay, so let's immediately change the price of this to... To 25. Okay, check it out again. Try it out again. Try it out again. Oh, shoot. I forgot to change the price of this stupid thing. Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. Okay, 25 for an iron bar. I got a lot of them, so... Knowing that they're 25 apiece... Oh, this is fun. This is fu this this is super cool. Okay. Um <laughs> rich jelly. Rich jelly. Let's do these at 10 a pop. Ah! Oh, no! Look at all this money! Okay, let's see what... Let's see what, uh... What they think about the rich jelly. Too much. Good to know. Good to know. Five a pop, then. Hey, man, it, it may not be much, but I've got a lot of them. That's the perfect number. Okay. Good to know. Let's place this pot. Oh, uh... This is fun. This I'm actually legitimately enjoying myself here. Quickly running around and and doing all of the stuff and Okay, so nobody wants that many. Maybe I could Yeah. 8. 8 per thing. Drive my price down just a little bit. I'm trying to get enough money to do this. Um... Really? to put down that I think might sell? Vines. I don't know what a teeth stone is. Okay. Okay. Nope. Good day! Look at this! I made a 
I made a nine. I mean, nine hundred fifteen today. That's not bad. Okay, cool. Popularity. Everybody liked the pots and the golem cores. Low popularity were the iron bars and the rich jelly, but... So, okay. Teeth stone. Alright, yeah, 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 yeah. Very cool. Very cool. Okay, so can I just go out and then... Yeah. Alright. Right button. Oh, uh... Okay. I suppose I could go out. Now let's bring in this, uh... This guy. Yeah, Vulcan's Forge. Yes, please. Oh, hey, there he is! It's pretty immediate. Now that's a nice place. Look at that. Now let's go talk to him real quick. Hey, you must be Will, no? The one who requested my forge. My name is Andre. Forge master extraordinaire. If it's weapons or armor you seek, Vulcan's forge is the place. Okay. Fabric bandana. I could have that. Yeah, and see, this is where I'm going to start being able to uh, actually... Ooh, fabric chest, please. Do s some stuff that's a little bit bigger. Big swords. Whoa, look at some of these cool swords. Spears. Uh, gloves. Ooh, cool. Bows and arrows. All right, yeah. can upgrade but you need some stuff 4,000 things that's a lot of money okay well we can add this to the wish list so let's do that boom we've added it to the wish list and now goodbye now we open this and then we go over here and it tells us exactly what we need. Oh, that is phenomenal. Okay. Let's go back into this dungeon for a minute, though. Because I want to do... Oh, there I am. That was cool. That's very cool. I've almost made enough money to uh, open up both of them. So I'm going to try and go back into this dungeon. <gasps> so I... Uh... I remember reading that it's procedurally generated, the dungeons. So I don't have to worry about knowing where I'm supposed to go or anything like that. It's all different. Ooh, as is evident by this first, by this first one. Okay, so let's go this way. Today marks my first steps into these mysterious dungeons. They were discovered not far from Rhinoka, a small and incredibly charming village just north of the crater. And they are quite a unique occurrence. Any number of adventurers may enter a dungeon at once, but no one will adventure together. They are a teleportation thing. They're like an instance. Interesting. These dungeons seem to build themselves around the one entering. A unique, pay, a unique maze for each person, never the same labyrinth twice. One must ask, though, if no one is currently inside the dungeon, does it even exist? Ooh, that's heavy. Now these, these are the questions. Many right now are flooding these dungeons for their treasure, completely disregarding the inherent danger of the hostile creatures inside. Eh, that's what people do. Just for some gold, some fame. But not I. No, it's all about the questions for me. Where did these dungeons come from? Why do they constantly shift and change? 
And why are they filled with unseen treasures? Why did that thing just fall on my desk? I'm not here for the what. I'm here for the how and why. Cool. That's cool. That is a good question, though. Uh, if, you know, the dungeon forms itself around the person. Hey, 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 hey! None of that. None of you stealing my stuff. Oh, oh. Hey, stuff, stuff that I need, um, to the left or right of bag. What does that mean? Oh, oh, that's weird. It can only go in the left or right slots. Oh, looks like we're going to have some sort of inventory management at some point. Got him. Dead guy. Oh, hey, cool. Awesome. You can desecrate the dead. Hooray! <laughs> All right. 18 of 20. I have no interest in trying to beat the boss. Why? Why do our tools keep disappearing? Chambers full of precious stone are left untouched, but rooms and chests holding our most basic tools keep vanishing. Oh, it's a healing spring! Cool! Hey, look at... Look. Oh, uh, okay. Interesting. Oh, sh shoot! Oh, for f That had nothing to do with controls, that was me, and only me, screwing that up three times in a row. In case anybody was wondering, that was all me. Uh, mm, uh. Ah, no. Yeah, okay. Um, pretty much out of space, almost. Will be after this. Aha! I can get a hundred off of those. All right. That's the full bag. Go bubbling out. Not bad. Killed a lot of stuff. 
Got a lot of stuff. Let's go to town. This game is fun. I, I really like it. I'm pretty happy. All right. So. Uh, thank you. We'll do it at 10 first. Then we'll do some glasses lenses. They're lenses, they're expensive. Open the shop. We'll do the, uh, one more shop and then, um, and then we'll call it for this episode. These might end up being a little bit longer because there's no real time frame for how long I have to spend doing whatever it is I gotta spend doing. Dope. Alright. You kinda- you have to try your stuff out first. Okay, awesome. Okay, perfect. Too much. Good to know. I don't want to undersell. So we'll drop the price by 50. Try and get enough money back to um, bring in that potion, lady. Let's go ahead and do some vines as well. Oh, no. Still too much. I don't want to, like, I don't want to lose out on money, but I, I also, I don't, I'm not making anything if it doesn't sell. Really? Well. There you go. Okay. What you got? That'll do. 125 is 125. That puts me back up. Thank you. Above 500, which is what I need for the... Really? Y'all Yo, gonna do this to me? This is... This is how we act? I'm gonna keep that. Might need it. Okay, so the answer for vines, by the way, is two things. Okay. Need that. Oh, my bad. There you go. Yeah, 
I don't have any weapons right now. I'm working on it. Okay. Not bad. I didn't make as much this time around. 460. That first time was a, not a fluke, but I did have those golem insides. So here's hoping maybe we can get some more. Those seem to have done very, very well. Okay. All right, guys. That is going to do it for this episode. Hey, ooh. Oh, I can put stuff in here. Hooray. Let's do all of it. Thanks. I'll keep these guys, please and thank you. But everything else can go in there. Um, like, you have to go pretty far down. Ten is, you know, a steal. So uh, broken swords, I should probably bump up to maybe fifteen. Ancient pots are a steal at thirty. Maybe they'll be okay at thirty-five, forty. A hundred is dead on the money for uh, crystallized energy. Twenty-five probably for glass lenses. Golem cores are 100 a pop. Water spheres, I don't know because I will need them. All right, well, that's cool. All right, well, so far... Right. Gotcha. Continue. Well, and what's in here real quick? Another chest. Interesting. Okay, so far, guys, I'm in it. I'm, I'm thoroughly enjoying this. This is a really cool game. I really like the concept. It's it's not a new concept. It's very much like... Um, what's it called? Reciter. The item shop game where you kind of basically do the same thing. But uh, I don't know. I like it. I'm really enjoying this. You guys can't see it, but I've had a smile on my face the entire time that I've been playing. So that's always a good sign for me. But that is going to do it for this episode, guys. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you like what I'm doing. Let me know if you like this game and you want to see more of it. I'm probably going to record some more anyway, but it's always good if you guys, you know, let me know if you're into it. Let me know if you like it. Um, I really appreciate you guys taking time out of your busy day to drop in and see what I'm up to. It really does put a smile on my face. It makes me so happy. You guys brighten up a day, and it's great. So thank you so much. I appreciate each and every one of you. And as always, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.